What's up, guys? Devin Zander here with my co-host, Clayton Johnson, and we are Rowdy Boy! Yes, the number one marketing podcast in the known universe. In the entire known universe, the There's number nothing one. Nothing out there. better, baby. There's nothing like us. And today, yeah, we're, yeah. we're back with another marketing episode, and this is going to be a quick one, but a vital one. Clayton, what are we talking about today? Yeah, we're going to be talking about the top 10 uh, marketing tools that we're using. We're going to tell you, you know, yeah, what we're using, why we're using it, and why you should probably be using it too. Okay, sounds perfect. Okay. Okay. Nice. Easy enough, guys. So yes. make sure you sign up for everything today. Uh, we will have affiliate links because we are marketers. So just Hell click yeah. the link in the description or go to like rowdyboys.net forward slash marketing dash tools. And we'll, you we'll can, figure that we'll yeah. figure that one out. We'll probably have it redirect to a Google Doc or something so you can check out all the tools that we've got listed for you today. But most importantly, guys, these are 10 tools that we use to That's run multi-million get. dollar businesses, you know, and uh, and it's, uh, some of these might surprise you, actually, so keep listening. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I guess I'll get started. This one's probably <laughs> obvious, and it's not going to surprise anybody at all. Maybe. But the first tool is ClickFunnels. Now, if you're not is, using it, just get on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, the reason why I say this is because as marketers at heart, um, something that I constantly want to do is just test shit. I want to get shit out. I want to test it. I do not want to have to wait for a website developer. I do not want to have to fuck around with FTP or transferring files or waiting on my DNS to propagate or like do any of these things. I want to be able to, as a non-technical person, be able to quickly go in, build a web page, send traffic to it, and start generating leads or sales. So for those of you who are not in the know, what ClickFunnels is, is basically a web page builder. You can go in there and you can build websites that collect leads or that sell products. Those are the only two things I use it for, so those are the only two things I'm gonna recommend it for. If I'm giving a lead magnet, if you've listened to our last few episodes where we've talked about bait and lead magnets and downloads and all that, I wanna be able to quickly pop a page up. It literally takes me five to 10 minutes. All I do is write a headline, and then I integrate it with one of my other tools on the list, which we'll get to later, and then I can start collecting leads instantly. And then if I wanna start making payments, I just build a page with a button that redirects them to a checkout that's also hosted on ClickFunnels. And then the money goes straight into my Stripe account, which gets deposited in my bank a day later. Super simple, requires zero technical skills. It's literally just drag and drop. I can build pages in minutes and then I can start testing without needing to rely on anyone. And I'm sure you know, in a big organization, you got to rely on a lot of people. There's a lot of time waiting. It's, it, we work with companies like Shopify, multi-billion dollar companies. It takes them like five fucking years to get a page up. Us, we're small, we're agile, we move quickly. I want to test shit. I build something myself in ClickFunnels. I do it in five minutes and then I can see whether or not it's going to make me money same day. It's just so huge as a small company or even like a mid-sized company. If you want to test shit out and make money and not wait around, ClickFunnels is definitely our go-to. Yeah, I agree, man. Uh, I love ClickFunnels. <clears throat> the best landing page builder that I've tried. They have the best actual, yeah, you know, I tried like on builder. And lead pages and yeah. all that stuff too. And ClickFunnels, I just, I keep wanting to try other things because I'm like, maybe they're better, but I always end up coming back to ClickFunnels. Yeah, I know it might not be surprising for a lot of people. We probably already use ClickFunnels, but just wanted to, if you have, if you don't, if you don't use ClickFunnels and you want to build, uh, you know, squeeze pages, webinar signup pages, it's the easiest, the best, the funnest. Yeah. So, I'll go to my, my next tool, All yeah? All right, let's see. Number okay, one so, for you. so I've tried a lot, of, a lot of different webinar software in the past, but webinars are you know so important to us uh, to, to, to do that one-to-many type of sales process. You know, we use them every single week, and we also automate our webinars too. So you know, we can have people attend every single week and uh, really get that same message out and have it perfect every time. So the software that we use for that is called Demio. And um, Demio is actually made by some friends that we have. And uh, it, it's just an amazing webinar platform. It allows you to do live webinars. The interface is super slick. You can do automated webinars. So if you have one where you kill it and you can just automate that thing, replay that every single week, you can do that too. Um, but uh, I can't say enough about it. Demio is an amazing platform if you want to run webinars. So that's a really key tool that we use in our business. And I think what's great about Demio, um, especially for our listeners here, because this is the number one marketing podcast in the known universe, is this is a webinar software that's built for sales. So they have a lot of really cool built-in tools where you can do like featured call to actions yep. and polls and like all these different things. Uh, directly within the software. So it makes it a really seamless buying experience and just goes way above 
and beyond the outdated tech like GoToWebinar and stuff like that. And that's Demio, D-E-M-I-O. Just an amazing software. I've been yeah. using it since the day they came out, essentially. Dude, I want to point this out is that, you know, it used to be that you had to download webinar software. People wanted to attend your webinar, they had to download this yeah. DMG and they'd open it up and reinstall the software. I feel like Demio is the first one to crack the, like, you just hit a button and it loads the whole thing in your yeah. browser. So Seamless. your attendance rates skyrocket because they don't have to download some wacky fucking software. So um, I think maybe some other people have that now, but just want to say Demio fucking crushed it on that. So let's go on to tool number three. All right, tool number three. This is our next tool. This is Hyros, H-Y-R-O-S, which I also found out in Greek basically means pig, which is just a side note. It's a pig software. Yes, Alex, your software means pig. <laughs> anyway, so Hyros is something that was actually built because of an ad campaign that I was running. So it's a software by a guy named Alex Becker. Him and I used to be business partners, and we were making about uh, 14 million or yeah, like $14 million a Quiff year. Maths. Yeah, <laughs> selling um, an info product, right? Yep. And it was all through webinar and YouTube ads. And what we essentially discovered was we're reading our sales report and then we're re reviewing the ads in Google AdWords and they just do not add up. Yeah. AdWords says that we're nowhere near profitable. And then we look at our Stripe account and we see, okay, there's a lot more payments coming in here than there are saying that we're making in AdWords. Now, here's the issue. It's not like we had fucking one ad running. We had hundreds of yeah. ads running. And as marketers, we need to decide, okay, which ads do we turn off? Because some of them are not making us money. Some of, us, some of them are making us fucking boatloads of money. So Alex went out, you know, we're not partnered with him on the software, although we were partnered with him on the info product. He went out and he built a tool that solves this problem. And this gives you proper attribution for your ads. So now if you have hundreds of ad sets, you can know exactly where your sales are coming from, which ad sets they're coming from. And it's a really simple tool. I can't get behind the math. I'm sure like the science behind it is very complicated and the software itself is complicated, but installing it on your website is super easy. There's just one code snippet. If you use something like ClickFunnels, you just literally drop it in there and then it tracks people's IPs, like their device ID, uh, their email, their name, like all this different shit. And it tracks them across different browsers. It tracks them across different emails based on all these different fingerprints. So you know exactly which ad they came from and how much money they've spent with you. It gives you other things like CLTV, customer lifetime value, yeah. uh, and all this cool data. But the big thing that we use it for is just because when you use Facebook ads or you use Google ads, they're not properly reporting the amount of calls generated, the amount of sales generated, and the amount of revenue generated. This software bridges the gap, fixes that, so you know exactly where your sales are coming from, and you can turn off the non-performers. Because I cannot tell you how many times I've looked at my dashboard and I'm getting totally wrong data compared to what I look at at high risk. I'll have, let's say two different ads in my ad dashboard. One will say it's hyper profitable. And then the one will say it's hyper negative. Right. And then I, they have a little Chrome extension so you can see Hyros's results right next to Facebook's. And it's literally the opposite, right? Like that first ad it's actually crazy, is man. super negative. And then the second one that Facebook is saying is negative is hyper profitable. And if I didn't have this tool, then I would have turned off the winning ad and I'd been like, what the fuck? Where'd all my sales go, right? So yeah. that's just why that's such an important tool for us. It really changed the yeah. advertising game. And it's the reason we were able to have that $14 million a year info product. That's amazing, man. Yeah, tracking is huge. Um, okay, number four, getting on to it. Um, my t my next tool is Optin Monster. So Optin Monster is a real simple, awesome tool. been using it for many years and it's gotten better over years, but it doesn't have to be that crazy. Literally, it is something that allows you, you put it on your website and it'll give you... It'll, basically does pop-ups on your website. So you got visitors coming into your website every single day. You need to collect their information and it just allows you to have like a little pop-up that says like, hey, do you want to opt in for this free guide or whatever? And we collect thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people of, of email addresses, leads that are interested in our services and put them through our email funnel um, just by using this one little tool. So check out Optimonster. They do a lot more than that, just more than just pop-ups. You can do like embedded 
you know, forms inside your blog posts. Uh, you can do like content upgrades. You can do like oh, gated yeah. content. You can do like hello bar type stuff, you know, like a bar on the top of your website. So it does a bunch of different things. Um, but I love this tool. It's helped us collect so many leads. Um, so I, I, more I, money, baby. Yeah. And, and I was going to say, you know, a lot of people don't really like uh, pop ups. And uh, I kind of agree, but it, it's just been so valuable. It so works. It, it works. And, um, gets a lot of a lot of people to opt in. So opt in monster, check it out. Yeah, so it's, it's like you don't like pop ups. I guess you don't like money either. Yeah. Do, can't would you have do you, both. Do you can't have your cake and eat it? Do you it want too. no pop ups or would you rather uh, have a, like a lot of money? So I'll choose the money. Thank you. All right. All so right. Number five. Segue into the next one, which is perfect after opt in monster because the next software is active campaign. Now, so I brought up click funnels and you just brought up opt in monster. I said, these are both tools that we use to collect email addresses. Now, yep. once we have those email addresses, how do we email them? How do we contact them? How do we segment them? We use a tool, at least I do, called Active Campaign. It's a super simple software. It allows me to start collecting people's emails, their phone numbers and their names, all this type of information about them, start sending them emails, start sending them text messages. And what's really cool is you can track them by which actions they've taken and you can create automations to basically automate your business based on what they're doing. So, you know, maybe like 30 years ago, you had to say, okay, well, I think John did this and I think he did this. And you know, you're like writing it all in a notebook and you're like, okay, so I guess I'll send him that letter. But Active Campaign does all that automatically. You can say, okay, John visited this web page and he downloaded this PDF and he started to check out here, but he didn't quite finish it. And then it enters them into an automated sequence, which will send them a chain of emails, getting them to buy something or take some action. So not only, does it make us a lot of money because it's, it's just how we send broadcasts to our list. You know, we've talked about this in a past episode. Easiest way to make money is to start emailing your list, but it also creates that. Like we can't email without it. And then it has the automation, which is actually my favorite feature of it because it just takes so much weight off of my shoulders and allows me to do card abandonment or follow-up campaigns or drip campaigns, you know, engagement campaigns, all of this automated based on actions that our customer takes. So it's just, it's so powerful and it talks to your customers exactly where they are in their journey, which just means higher conversions and more money. Yeah, man, I love it. Active campaign, check that out. So number six I have on here, and this one's a simple one. It's Canva, canva.com. Uh, it's an amazing tool where you can just do quick graphic design because you know I, I've, I'm a Photoshop user, Illustrator user to do all that stuff, but really, you know, sometimes it's unnecessary. You can just use, dude, you're spilling it everywhere. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Uh, really, I mean, if you if you need to work on collaborative designs with like people, or you want your virtual assistant to knock out a bunch of ad designs for you, or whatever, uh, Canva is a free, easy tool that you can use to just make stuff. If you want to make images for, you know, your banner images, I think it's what I use to make the banners on the it's YouTube what, channel. Yeah. You know, it's what I'm used to make the thumbnails. So it, it's a super great tool. Check it out. You don't have to pay a million bucks for Photoshop. Just use Canva. Yeah, and like like I had mentioned earlier with ClickFunnels, another huge benefit of using Canva is just that MVP, right? Minimum yeah. viable product, getting shit out there. Yeah. Test, test, test. You can instantly, quickly make these images. And then if you find something that's working or catching on, then you can pay like a fancy designer to you know build upon that idea. Yeah. But as marketers, we just need to constantly throw shit out there and test. Exactly. All right. My so we're on seven? Number yes. seven, I think? Number seven. My next tool is the Facebook ad library, which isn't necessarily like a software or anything. Dude, it's a tool. I, 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 I consider that a tool for this sure. This yeah. is huge. Yes. Okay. Dude, people don't even know about this. It's like a secret hidden little back door. Yeah, I, I, I don't know the URL. I literally just Google Facebook ad library yeah. every time. So, same. You can just Google it. We'll have a link in the description, right? But what we use this tool for is literally just spying on our competition or even just people that I respect in the industry to see how they're running their ads. Yeah. So the way the tool works is essentially you go to the ad library and it's just a search bar. You just search a, the name of a person's fan page and it will show you all of the ads they're running. And this is so powerful because you can look at their copy, how they're talking to their customers. You can see how long the ad has been running. And to me, that's a huge one because if an ad has been running for two years, I'm like, well, it's fuck, working. This ad must be working. If <laughs> yeah. it's been around for two years, it's got to be some fucking reason, right? Yeah. You can just check it out. And then you can also go look through their funnel. You can see exactly what they're doing. Check out their yeah. email campaigns and all that. And like before, 
you had to hope like, man, hopefully I see their ad and then I'll screenshot it and hope I don't forget about it. And now you can literally just have a VA or yourself check every day and see what the competition's up to see what's working in your industry right now. Yeah, man, I love it. I love going through there and like checking out all the competitors, seeing what kind of, you know, cues I can take from them or I get ideas of the types of the ads that they're running that I could try to mimic. Um, so yeah, it's a great tool. You can spy on a lot of people. So, all right, next one. I think this is number seven. Eight. This is number eight. Okay, so my next tool is ahrefs.com, A-H-R-E-F-S.com. And this is primarily an SEO tool, but it's it's much, much more than that. So uh, this is a tool where you can go in there and you can pop in your website. You can see all the keywords that you're ranking for where you're ranking, how many links that you have, all, you know, all kinds of analysis that you can do. But uh, expanding upon that, you can actually go type in a bunch of your competitors and you can see what keywords they are ranking for. So how you can use this data? Well, basically you're gonna see you know, what are the, where are they all getting traffic? And that means you can see what topics they're writing about, what topics they're talking about, what keywords they're using. And you can just create this uh, map of all these things that you're missing on your website that you're not talking about and go out yeah. there and create this type of content. It's got also got keyword research tools where if you just have an idea, you want to see like, is there a lot of volume for this or is there not? Um, you know, you can go in there and just type in some keywords, do quick keyword research. It's got so much different stuff. Very, very powerful tool. It's so great for anybody that needs to create content or do SEO. It's the number one tool that I go to every time. And yeah, I just love it. So ahrefs.com. I also love ahrefs. And although we do not blog at SCUP anymore, we did used to, Jesus, we used to blog. <laughs> and um, uh, we also use ahrefs. And essentially what we used it for was just to see which long tail keywords we're ranking for without trying. And should we focus there? So it's just a really simple way like, oh, hey, we're almost ranking for this keyword randomly. I, uh, maybe we should try to Get some backlinks for that. Anyways, yeah. uh, and that, that's a good point. Moving on to number nine. And number this, nine. This is actually good because it builds upon uh, Ahrefs, and this is conversion.ai. Now, this is a, mm, this new, is a new tool software Ooh, wow. on the scene. Just came out this year, I believe, or very, very late last year. And it's basically an automated assisted writer. So what it does is it will create content for you based upon inputs. So we use it for... Um, like social posts, blog posts, and most importantly, or actually I even use it to respond to reviews on the theme store. So wow, they have dude. a template for responding to reviews. And then we use it to come up with angles and headline ideas. So, you know, we're constantly running ads. We're constantly trying out different angles, seeing what works. So it basically scraped all the data on the internet. Uh, at least that's my understanding of how it works. The whole internet? No, not, <laughs> not all of it, but a lot of it. And so you can enter a topic and then it just basically uses AI algorithms to decide what words should go next based on what you said. So I could basically say, okay, I'm selling a Shopify theme. Give me some headlines that will help me sell my Shopify theme. And it asks for the name of the theme, um, a brief description of it, and then it just generates headlines for me. And then I can take that and build upon it and come up with marketing ideas and angles much quicker than you know sitting around on the toilet like this trying to figure it out on my own. So huge tool extremely valuable uh, and they just did a really good job with it. Yeah, man, I, I got a, I got a preview of that tool and I thought it was really cool. I haven't used it very much, but I would love to check it out more. Um, I, I thought it looked super cool. I, 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 I really doubted that, you know, AI could actually couldn't create any kind of convincing copy or whatever, yeah. but I saw it like I literally tested it out and I was actually pretty impressed. And I think it would be really great for like, you know, if you've been in business for a while and you've been banging your head up against the wall, like selling the same thing for a long time, yeah. it'll help you come up with new angles and ideas because it's like, you know, yeah, anyway. I, mean, I don't think it's replacing like human copywriters yeah, anytime no, no. soon, yeah, I think you definitely have definitely to. like a nice added touch. You can't yeah. rely on it on its own and it's not going to have those hyper creative ideas that yeah. a person would have, but it just, it saves time. It, yeah. it makes your life easier. And if you have a copywriter, it probably makes their life easier too. Cool, man. Are we on number nine? Number 10 now. Last one. Oh, this is the last one. Yeah. Okay, cool. So my last one is like, if you want to create a course, um, there's a lot that goes into it and trying to make it look nice and get it all hosted up there and see all the students go through. Um, the, the best platform that I've ever found to do this is called Kajabi. And Kajabi is this amazing platform it allows you to pretty much do everything you need in terms of creating your website if you and, and hosting a course. Um, not just one course, but if you have a whole library of courses, it's really good for that. So it pretty much does everything. 
Um, it kind of even does some things outside the wheelhouse that we've already talked about. So like you can even build an email list on there. You can do landing pages on there. It'll host your whole uh, course. Maybe you can speak to what else. Yeah, yeah, you can collect payments on there. You can even set up automations. So yeah. a, there's a lot. You can set up tagging, segmenting, all that stuff that we talked about with Active yeah. Campaign. A lot of it you can do on there. And a lot of stuff you can do with ClickFunnels you can do on there. But um, for me, it's mostly just for the courses, right? Because yeah. I want tools that specialize in what they do. Yeah. To me, Kajabi, really great for hosting courses. It's what we use as well. Yeah. And we do send emails through there sometimes just because it's easy if I want to send people something that have purchased a certain course, right? But we really use it to collect payments. Sometimes we build checkout pages with it and then hosting our course content. And then I let the email tool do, do its job and the landing page builder do its job, you know? Yeah, yeah. So... Definitely, if you want to create a course, check out Kajabi. I think it's an no amazing... better recommendation yeah, it's, for course It's creators. great. Okay, so those were the top 10 uh, marketing tools that we got for you this time. Boom, you want to sign us off? Bow, yeah. That's it. That's the Rowdy Boys. Fist bump. Let's go. Hell yeah. Guys, listen. Those of you on YouTube, what are you doing? Have you what? liked? Have you commented? Guys, have you subscribed? What are you have doing? You ring the bell? Comment yeah. below. Let us know what you think. If you're interested in trying out any of these softwares and you're on YouTube... Probably have a link of, to them in the description. And it's definitely going to be an affiliate link. So we make money because yeah. we have no shame in, in marketing or selling. We are a marketing podcast. If yeah. we didn't market, we would be, um, what was that called? It'd be like an oxymoron. It wouldn't make yeah. sense. Okay, we have to market. Like pretty soon this ad, this this marketing podcast is going to have 42 ads on it in the beginning, you know? Yeah, it's going to turn dude, into Joe Rogan. Yeah, no, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so the link's in the description. And if you're on YouTube, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, as well as hit the bell. If you're on Apple Podcasts, subscribe and leave us a six-star, five-star review. Let's go. If you're on Spotify, Let's go. <laughs> just subscribe. And then do not forget to share with your friends. If anybody in your life, if you have a friend, a peer, a uh, coach or even a student who could find this valuable, share it with them, yeah. okay? Let them get the value too. Do not hoard it all to yourself. Guys, this is Devin Zander and Clayton Johnson. We are the Rowdy Boys. Go. All right, guys. Take it easy. Thank you so much for your time. Do you have any parting words for our guests here? Love you guys. See you next time. See you guys.